before we get this video started guys let's go over our channel partner and that's mint mobile right now they're hooking it up guys just for you guys for being members of the channel they're hooking it up make sure you use that link down below and it's the premium unlimited plan is going to be as low as $15 a month slash $45 for three months guys normally it costs $90 the promo that they give us but they're hooking it up they're giving it to us for half off why don't you use that link down below and that's going to let them know that low sent you and let's get this video started hey everyone welcome to another video here on the channel also guys just want to give you a reminder on your way in can you please hit that like button on the way in it's greatly appreciated it helps circulate the video through the algorithm and guess what we got guys we got the new at&t internet air guys so we just received it look at nice presentation on the box you know it says at&t air setup kit of course you know you got to scan the qr code to set it up but guys you don't have to all right so we kind of did a little bit of the the setting up behind the scenes but we're going to re-unbox this thing so as you can see right here the box says you can tear the strip up here or you just rip it up up here and just get this bad boy open there you go and then this is what we're looking at right here so it gives you your instructions right here your one in fiber your supply and you can go on the website att.com all right guys sorry i had a call so as you can see att.com slash all fi hub dash internet air all right guys so this is what it looks like we just pulled this little thing out all right and then here is the gateway the egg guys the freaking egg is finally here the all-in-one hub okay let's see the back let's see what it looks like it has the at t logo Oh, snaps, it has a 10 gig Ethernet port, and then it has a 1 gig, and then a weird power supply. And it has your WPS button, and it has all your credentials here in the back, which I'm not going to show. All right, so we got the egg. Let's put her aside, and we pull this out. And what else do we have down here? We have the power supply. That's it, just the power supply. Just like the step says, one, the all fi hub, two, power supply. All right, so now we got the power supply. What we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna plug this in. All right, let's see if we got any power in the car. Let's make sure we do. Oops, sorry about that. Let's make sure we got some power in the car. Turn the music off so they don't hit us with the strikes. All right, guys, let's hook up the power plug. As you can see, it looks like an old keyboard plug, the P the PS2 kind of style plug. So we plug that in. Then the device is gonna just end up loading up. Sometimes it takes a couple minutes to load up, but we'll uh, time lapse it and we'll be right back once it's up. All right, guys, as you guys can see, it's doing some little dancing stuff there, but it is connected. And then eventually it'll show the time. It has like a clock on there. And you guys will see on the time lapse, it'll say AT&T on there. It's pretty cool. But let's go over the one thing you guys know. So we're connected. It's on Wi-Fi 6, 55 ping, 16 jitter. As you guys know, we have to test this, guys. Look at that. That is not bad throughput right there. For a fixed wireless solution from AT&T, not bad at all. 375 down. And 89.3 on the upload, guys not bad at all now let's see is the video uncapped uh oh oh it's rebooting again all right guys let it reboot and we'll be right back again all right guys we are back now the the egg shows the time but unfortunately it shows the time of the service address but you already know we are in Pacific time. So yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. 
is all right. Let's do uh, a fast. And as you can see, the video is pretty much uncapped. It's not doing bad at all. So the first test was 160 mega, uh, megabits per second. Now it's 130 on the second test. Not bad at all. Now the real test is going to be the mperf test. So let's see what this home ISP can do. If it can handle the stress of the mperf. Why did it choose Atlanta? Hold on. That is really far. Well, let's see here. Manual. Let's select somewhere that's that's within our region here. All right, let's do info. There you go, info west. That's the closest server that they have here. There we go. Ooh. Well, remember, guys, this product is a QCI9. Now, what AT&T considers it. So it is at the bottom of the totem pole, just like T-Mobile Home Internet. But of course, you know, AT&T's network is highly capacitive. A lot of you guys have. QCI 9 starter lines and don't complain about it so did pretty good on the zoom which that one always usually takes about 4 to 10 seconds depending on the network alright now we're going through the video test it always starts at 360p then 720 then 1080 Oh, it's getting good video scores, 93% on 360. Ninety six percent on seven twenty. Oh, didn't show the ten eighty score. So we're looking at one forty five down, eighty four up, sixty seven latency, that's the average. 81% browsing, 95% streaming, score of 94,025. That's eh, okay. It's okay for what it is. But guys, there's the egg. That's what it looks like. We finally got it. We'll be doing more testing with this thing. And I'm going to set it up at the house and use it. We'll use it and see how this goes. Can this be a Cox, a Cox cable replacement? Who knows? Well, you'll find out soon, guys. All right. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you to all the channel members for the love and support. And also, guys, remember to hit that like up button again. And we're going to catch you in the next one, guys. And peace. Damn, guys, before we end this video, even though I already said the peace, I forgot to show you guys the 192 menu. So this device literally has all this information here, guys. So it gives you your radio configurations, all the devices connected to the network. So you get a lot of detailed information. And I know which one you guys want to see. The cellular gives you your if you're connected to N to NSA, LTE, your RSRP, your SINAR, and then your neighboring cells, which is nice. All right, let's see here, home network. Sorry guys, I gotta cover that part. All right, so then it gives you your home network status, all your radios, 160 megahertz channels on five gigahertz, which is Wi-Fi six, so it's not bad. It has Mac fil filtering. It has, um, th it has this interesting thing called NAT gaming. Let's click on that. So basically, depending on the game that you play, you know, you could select, it has a whole bunch of list of games here. 
has your Call of Duties, your whatever, your Jedi's, your the Lime Wires of the world. Jesus, MS Golf. Jesus, old ass games. It has all this stuff on here that you can select, whichever. All right, and then what you do is let's see here. So just select one. Then you put serve. Then all you got to do is hit add. And that's it. Then I guess that gives you like a application host hosting entry. You can select what device needs that special throughput. Then you got IP pass through. Then you got firewall advance, which this is what your firewall advance shows right here. Then you got your packet filtering, so you can filter stuff out. Then you got your diagnostics, your IP pass throughs. Let's see here. Let's go back to home networking. And then we'll show you the menus here. So that gives you your, your IP uh, allocation, your subnets and your DHCP, your MAC filtering, your Wi Fi settings, your IPv v6 your configurations and yeah guys and then you get your diagnostics menu in case you have any issues with the stuff you can speed test it right here it gives you your logs your updates you can reset it your event log yeah it's a pretty detailed unit all right guys thank you again and we'll catch you in the next one Thank you for tuning in. Remember to hit the like, share, and subscribe button. Be sure to hit the notification bell so you're always notified when we upload content. Have a great one. Peace.